So I was really impressed when I came that, one, first of all, you've got physical models you're working on. You're actually having kids work with physical clay, not just jumping in a digital environment and working with computer graphics, but, you know, these things, right? Right, and right. Can you talk to why that's a good thing? Right, yeah, absolutely. So I think it's critical to develop traditional skill sets before you use digital media because there are so many shortcuts with digital media that sort of uh, become a, a crutch, right? And uh, you don't develop the skill that you uh, otherwise would need, right, if you're uh, doing a traditional version of that. So I think the physical sculpts are a huge part of that. I think people should be drawing. I think they should be sculpting and drawing the figure. I think they should be painting the figure. I think they should be uh, painting environments, uh, doing plein air painting. I mean, all this is traditional skill development. And I think, uh, I think our students, I think everybody needs it, right? And then we bring that to the digital environment where we sort of um, see the fruition of our creative vision. One of our uh, modelers, right, who's going to be using ZBrush to do some of the uh, character models, um, is also a sculptor, and he's been through my sculpture classes. He also draws, right? So this is a guy you definitely want uh, using ZBrush and modeling your characters because he has all that traditional knowledge behind him, right? And he's going to make a better character for it. Doing what I'm calling parallel development, and essentially uh, it's different than a regular film, um, you know, animated short process that you would go through where you have a development phase, and then you have a pre-production phase, and then you have a production phase, and a post-production phase. So we're sort of overlapping that. Um, the development phase is, is ongoing. Uh, Pre-production is also ongoing. <laughs> they're just not using the actual final content that they would normally use, right? So they're not waiting around for, for actual content. They're using sort of dummy content or placeholder content to test a lot of things. So R&D is happening at the same time as, as content and idea development. What do you think the students find about doing that? Oh, I think they're excited about it, right? And obviously, they get to share in this sort of multidiscipline environment, and they get to wear several hats. I know I'm wearing a bunch of hats. They also see the value, right? That's another important thing. They understand what I'm doing. I explain it to them before we do it. You know, there's a reason, right? There's a method to the to the madness. Um, and there's a lot of buy-in, you know? I, I think they're really excited about uh, doing it, and they can sort of foresee the quality of the kind of content that we're creating.